throughout the school we use shared reading where we will read a piece as a class um, and then we'll break it down and look at the different sentence structures, the different words used, um, anything the children don't understand um, and we do that every day. And we also got guided reading sessions where children will work in small groups on a, all on the same book um, and they'll look at the book, decide what they think it's about, they'll predict what's going to happen and again they'll just look at how the words are put together in order to tell the story. Um, we have got a catch-up programme as well called Rapid Reading where children are withdrawn again in small groups and they work on different activities on a one-to-one -one basis uh, which include reading from books but they also include work on the computer, uh, work recording themselves and then listening back to what they've read um, so that they get to see that it's not just a book that they can read from other things as well. The poetry and the storytelling that we've had come in, uh, the, the children have realised that they don't have to just read books, they can read during different activities um, and they're improving themselves without realising what they're doing I think um, and it's boosted their confidence as well. I think the key would be just to get the children to read, it doesn't matter what they read, it can be books, it can be magazines, it can be computer games, websites, even signs on the side of the road. Um, as long as they're reading every day, ideally for at least 10 minutes, uh, it can make a big difference to what they're learning in school, but also outside of school in the general world. Um, a project coordinate with CSV RSVP, and we currently coordinate the Reading Buddies programme throughout Wales. Uh, we work in quite a few local authority areas, and we recruit readers to uh, go into schools to help with children's reading skills. The main benefit for the schools is that they get um, extra help uh, because there are a lot of children that need a bit of support. Um, schools are quite widely understaffed these days so any little bit of extra help they can get is much appreciated. Those volunteers then get to know the children quite well and they're not seen as a member of staff but uh, they build up quite a good relationship with the children and the children often respond well. I do recommend the scheme, yes, and feedback from teachers is that they really do appreciate the volunteers coming in. I know children really enjoy having the experience of speaking to those volunteers, and I think the volunteers enjoy it immensely too. Reading with me makes me feel happy. Everybody needs to read. Just ten minutes a day, reading with a child can make a huge difference and make them a better reader. For more information, go to www.betterreading.co.uk Make time to read. <laughs>